You've made it this far and you're here at this video now, which means that your knitting has gotten like a thousand times easier than last time I saw you when you had a few stitches on four needles. So it's going to get even easier because switching to circulars means we're not going to flop around with double pointed needles anymore. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Here I am with my little bit of blanket and I've probably, I could have switched to circulars a while ago. I have kind of a lot here, but I wanted to save this so I could show you. I have the little clippy marker marking the beginning of my round and I have my row counter so I know which round I'm on. And this is going to be my first stitch. I have my circular needles here and they're 32 inch circular needles, which I'm gonna show you how to make this work because really this isn't big enough for 32 inch circular needles. Okay, I'm gonna follow my pattern here. for the row that I'm on. SSK yarn over, knit two, knit two together, yarn over, knit two, knit two together, yarn over, knit two, knit two together, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit one. Okay, so I just knit straight off of the DPN onto the circular needle. And remember, our pattern changes here between the needles, so I still need to keep that marked. And I'm going to do that with a stitch marker. I'll place a stitch marker right there and go on to the next one. And I'm not really explaining much about what I'm doing with the um, with the stitches because this will be different for whichever row you're on. Knit two, SSK, yarn over. I've got a tangling problem here. Oh, okay, lost my place, I'm back, we're okay. Okay, I did actually lose my place, but I don't wanna go back through and figure it out. I lost my place because I'm thinking about too many things at once, <laughs> and switching and looking at my pattern, that's okay. Normally I would just go back to the beginning of the round and look at my stitches and figure out where I am, but I wanna demonstrate this to you. Again, I would place another stitch marker here and keep going around. And the fact of the matter is that there is going to be more cord than I have stitches here. But it is awesome once it's here so we can spread it out and see how it's looking. So what I'll do with the extra cord is I'm just going to find a spot and pull the extra cord long like that and let it hang like that. And I can knit on this little circumference of cord that I have here, no problem. And as the blanket gets bigger and bigger, I'll eat up more and more of this cord. I'll need more and more of it for the number of stitches that I have and, and until I have, I'm using all of the length of the cord while I do it. Now, when I work up to the place where I have the cord, all I'm gonna do is grab somewhere else and pull the cord long there instead and just work around. This is called sometimes called magic loop. Um, when you're knitting, when you're starting knitting with magic loop, it's a little bit different than what we're doing here. This is just sort of a way of keeping you from having to buy a lot of different lengths of cords when you're um, working on a project like this that's getting bigger and bigger. Next up, I'm going to show you how to work lifelines, which is a way of keeping your stitches safe from mistakes, from disastrous mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.